الأرض أنا الإنسان أنا التاريخ والشهداء لثورة تنحل التجار مؤيدين للاخوان البحرينيين ونامل من المولى عز وجل ان ينصرهم على كل من يعانيهم ونناشد حقوق الانسان والكل والافراج عن المعتقلين الابطال احمد خواجه وبنته وكل الاخوان. اذا تخيلوا شو بليهم في راسهم ندخل قلت سي تسعوري غابيس كفايك في باستو ادي خالي ستاي ستاي فور بلاس تي ال Men i virkeligheden, det er realistiske syn, det er, at det er bare hanske folk, de bliver undertrykte, de bliver dræbte, de er tørste og de sulter, og der er ikke nogen, der gider fokusere på det, så derfor så er vi her i dag for at råbe op for dem. Jeg er en af de ansvarlige kvarier af Sjævn Bahrein. Jeg er stadigvæk her i dag for at vise vores solidaritet til den bahrainske befolkning. Og for at fortælle Folketinget og medierne og de bahrænske borgere, at de er ikke blevet glemt og kommet i glemmebogen. Og vi hver år vil vi ved med at være her, indtil at Abdul Hadi og alle de læger, sygeplejersker, atleter og de almindelige borgere bliver løsladt. Vi samles alle sammen i dag for at fejre tre år i revolution for Bahrain. I det kolde vejr, vi har i Danmark, der er noget sol i dag. Men vi vil gerne gøre opmærksom på og støtte rettigheder for bahrænske befolkning og deres kamp mod kalifen, kongen, der har været uretfærdig over for den i lang tid. I speak for the people of Bahrain from Amnesty International. My name is Trina Christensen. I'm the Vice Secretary General of the Danish section of Amnesty International. We have been working on human rights in Bahrain together with our partners here and across the world for many years now. In the three years since authorities crushed the mass demonstrations of 2011, the human rights situation in Bahrain has continued to deteriorate. Prominent human rights defenders, opposition activists, and just regular people, even children, have been rounded up, in many cases, just for calling for peaceful anti-government protests. Bahrain has witnessed a downward spiral of repression over the past three years, with the space for freedom of expression and assembly deteriorating and disappearing. Pro repeated promises of reform have been broken, and we are not seeing the steps we need to show that the government is serious about respecting its international obligations. The authorities have not yet implemented the recommendations made the by the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, which we saw in 2011 and which filled us with some hope for change. <clears throat> Scores of people, including dozens of children, have been detained for participa participating in peaceful protests over the last year alone. Many of them tell us stories of torture, terrible torture and detention. Among some of the children who've been detained are the 10-year-old Jahid Nabil al sami and 13-year-old Abdullah Yusuf al bahraini who were arrested by the riot police in December of 2013 during a rally outside Manama. Abdullah told us he was beaten, threatened with electric shocks, and forced to sign a confession, but he denies having taken part in the march and in throwing stones at the police. The boys have been released but they remain under supervision. What kind of a regime does this kind of thing to children? Many others, including journalists and human rights activists, have also been targeted. One of the people we've been working for is Ahmad Fardan, a photojournalist who was arrested during a raid on his home in uh, 26 December. He was charged with participating in a public gathering after attempting to cover a demonstration in the village of Abu Saiba as a photographer. He was merely exercising his human right to a peaceful, uh, to participate in a, in a peaceful gathering and also in what we know is important for all of the world to document what is going on, to document the kinds of human rights abuses that we see in Bahrain. He was beaten and uh, sustained two bo broken ribs during his detention. And last week, 
a two-year prison sentence was upheld against Nabil Rajab, another name that many of us here know I know. He's a prominent human rights defender, and all he did was to participate in peaceful protests and gatherings. Another activist is Zainab al Kawaja, who is a Danish citizen, along with her father, Abdullah al Kawaja. They are all three prisoners of conscience, and all of them should immediately be released. We continue in amnesty to receive reports of torture in detention centers in Bahrain. And we need to see immediate change. We need to see that the regime will actually start to meet some of the promises that they have made again and again, and yet have broken again and again. Today, it's three years ago, the protests in uh, the Pearl <coughs> Plaza were brutally beaten down. And today is a test for the authorities to demonstrate that they are committed to protecting human rights. That is what we ask, no less and no more.